Today we're going to compare a guitar with nickel frets versus a guitar with stainless steel frets. So what we're going to do is take my PRS Custom 2408, which has caused quite a bit of controversy in one of the earlier videos I posted this year, and we're gonna send it out to get refretted with stainless steel frets. One of the main issues and complaints that I have with this guitar is that the nickel frets just don't really hold up on tour like all of my Music Man and Kiesel guitars do. So we're going to spend almost the same amount of money that PRS charges for a partial nickel refret and get a full stainless steel refret from a very reputable luthier here in the USA. So we're gonna record some sound demos of how this guitar sounds now with the nickel frets. We got fresh set of Diderio XS strings on here. And then we're going to use the exact same pick, cable and amp sound in the fractal when I get the guitar back so we can compare and contrast and see if I think it's worth the investment. So let's get started. For this test, we're going to be using the sounds from my Syph Sound Studios fractal preset which is available for purchase. We are going to be using the exact same pick, a brand new Dunlop Eric Johnson Jazz 3 pick. And we are going to use the exact same 18 foot Mogami cable Neutrik ends. drop off the guitar, should arrive to the luthier by the end of the week, and hopefully it'll only take about another week or so for it to come back. Officially dropped off, and now it's just a waiting game. Several days later. All right, so the guitar just came back, but this box is a uh, little worse for wear. It's also upside down, so. A little concerned, but wanted to video all of this just in case I have to file a claim or anything. But we'll bring it inside, open it up, and see what's up. All right, so we're gonna unbox this together and just see what's up. I mean, they completely destroyed this box. It's uh, it seemed much better days. So I think I'm gonna open it from the other end. That looks right. Put this here. The case is at room temperature, so I say it's safe to open. And it looks safe and sound. The fret ends feel really smooth. Frets feel the same height. Cool, we'll do some close ups. The fret work seems pretty good. I can run my hand up and down the guitar without any issues, nothing sharp or anything. The frets feel great. Bending is nice and smooth. And don't really notice any differences, really. The fret wire is about the same size 
as the one that PRS uses stock. The neck looks shinier now, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, one thing to keep in mind when you switch from nickel frets to stainless steel frets is it might discolor or chip a little bit of the neck area here just due to the fact that you have to like pry those old frets out with the glue and everything but i mean this guitar is already so beat up anyway as you can see from this video here um, but overall i'm very happy with this upgrade it's going to make the guitar more reliable on tour it's one less thing i have to worry about you know happening again and it just kind of makes the guitar work better for what i do Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Nickel versus stainless steel, I think stainless steel all day is just a better fret material. There's no reason to stick with nickel frets. The tone difference is so minimal. That's what your tone knob is for, or you can just go to the amp and dial back the treble or the presence. It's not the end of the world. Stainless steel frets are more reliable and more durable. They have my vote any day of the week. You can check me out on social media here. All those links are in the description below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy the kind of content that I put out. Until next time, everyone, keep on rocking, keep on practicing.